What's up, guys? Welcome back to the EKD Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as you guys know, this entire summer, we've been doing NFL division previews. So we're going to continue that today. And we're going to start it off with the AFC North, the most competitive, the most difficult division to even handicap. But let's get into it. Now, before we go forward, we also have to go backwards a little bit to see who made us money last season. Who was the money maker in the division? No surprise, it was the Baltimore Ravens. They went 11 and six against the number. The Steelers were profitable as well as the Browns, but the Bengals went eight, nine ATS. But nonetheless, nobody in the division lost you a ton of money. But last season was a little bit surprising. We know the Baltimore Ravens were able to win the division. That was great. They had 13 wins. Cleveland ended with 11, Pittsburgh with 10, and the Bengals with just nine going one and five in the division. But there was a lot of injuries going on in the AFC North last season. So the Baltimore Ravens had a clear path to be good, to be successful, and that they were, of course, until they made it to the postseason and unfortunately, of course, fizzled out. Uh, Cleveland also made it to the postseason as well as Pittsburgh. So three of the four teams made it to the postseason and people are expecting that to happen once again this upcoming season. But today I'm specifically going to look at win totals. We're gonna start off with the Cincinnati Bengals. Their line open at 10 and a half and I would go over on this number. They have the sixth easiest schedule according to ESPN's FPI. And that's really important here because schedule obviously correlates with win totals and not everybody in the division is going to have the same strength of schedule, of course. But last season, we obviously saw them end with nine wins and half of that was with Jake Browning under center. Jake Browning, I don't even know if anybody owns a jersey of Jake Browning, but that's neither here nor there. Joe Burrow is going to be back. We know he's got the slim shady look. I shouldn't be handicapping like this, but I will say I think he's going to be back. He's going to be better. The team's going to be good. I know their defense was middle the pack but they made some adjustments this offseason so the team overall based on their strength of schedule should be able to have over 10 and a half wins despite the division being incredibly difficult that takes us to the baltimore ravens who are also sitting at 10 and a half wins this is a team i'm absolutely passing on them they have the ninth toughest schedule according to espn fpi so i'm staying away from them they had 13 wins last season but i do think they take a step back because other teams in the division are going to be even better now they opened with their win total at 11 and a half and that was tied with kansas city as well as san fran so to see this number already be bet down to 10 and a half makes me a little bit worried for this team because betters are obviously going to move lines depending on where they think they're actually going to end up falling so this is a team i'm passing on in terms of what i'm picking for a win total just because they do have a tough schedule i think we see a little bit of regression i think the division is going to be more competitive as well this season of course barring injury but the ravens win total i'm going to stay away from now as for the browns this is going to be a lean i'm leaning over eight and a half wins they have the eighth toughest schedule coming so that makes me a little bit worried but they were successful last year they had 11 wins that was with joe flacco deshaun watson pj walker dorian thompson smith it was basically a quarterback carousel the entire season so health is going to be key for them and obviously they haven't had great success in the past in terms of their wins and having a winning season but that's neither here nor there. I think based on their schedule this upcoming season, I do lean towards over eight and a half wins. They should be a really good team if Deshaun Watson's able to stay healthy because that defense is no joke. So as long as you have a good defense, I feel like you can hang in at most of these games. So we're gonna go lean with the Browns over eight and a half wins. That leaves us with the Steelers. Their win total is also at eight and a half. Now the big narrative around the Steelers it's the fact that not only do they have the third toughest schedule this upcoming season, but under Mike Tomlin, they've never had a losing season. That's the biggest narrative around the Steelers. This is the one time that I think they actually will end up having a losing season. Their schedule is absolutely brutal. Go through the schedule and find, find me nine wins because I cannot find nine wins on there whatsoever. And after week 11, they have to face the entire division twice. So should wear and tear come in at the end of the season, they could be crushed. That happened in the Eagles last year. I knew not to bring it to my own team because I naturally I end up doing that. We knew that the, their schedule was going to get difficult in November as well as December. And then that's when they fizzled out and went one and one and six down the stretch because of how difficult it was. So knowing that the toughest division games are going to be at the end for them, I'm not I'm not bought in on them. I'm also not bought in on Russell Wilson as well as Justin Fields just yet. So I do think we're going to see for the first time in Mike Tomlin's career that they have a losing season. And that might be a hot take, but I stand by it. And I'm sure I will take flack on on this, but that's OK. It's engagement, engagement. Now, in terms of who wins the division, right now on ESPN bet, Baltimore is the favorite of plus 150. Bengals right behind a plus 150. Cleveland's plus 500, and Pittsburgh is a long shot, long shot in quotes, at plus 800. Nobody is a huge 10 to 1 or greater long shot in this market as opposed to some of the other markets that we're seeing right now for the divisions. 
but I'm going to go with the Cincinnati Bengals at plus 150 to end up winning the AFC North. They are going to have the easiest schedule, like I had mentioned, out of all the four teams. And if they're back and they're healthy, I'm trusting in Joe Barrow this upcoming season. And I know I say Barrow with a Philly accent. Everyone says that. I'm not sure I say it properly, and I don't care. But I do believe in Joey B, Joe Shiesty, Joey Cool. I mean, the guy's got endless names. But nonetheless, I'll go with the Bengals plus 150. Now, as for week one lines, we have um, Cincy laying nine and a half points versus New England. I think this line will probably get to minus 10, minus 10 and a half. Since he should blow them out of the water, but that also feels like it could be a wonky week one game, maybe where New England's able to just cover the spread if it's low scoring. So I lean towards Cincy here. Uh, Baltimore's catching three points week one, Thursday Night Football. You guys know my feelings on this. I'm leaning towards Kansas City, but I'm not making an official pick on that just yet. Cleveland uh, laying a point against Dallas. This line's been ba going back and forth, jumping back and forth. Sometimes it flips to Dallas, sometimes to Cleveland. I think Cleveland could just win this one outright uh, in week one. I'd also be betting Dak Prescott interception as soon as it becomes available. You guys know I will always hate on Dak. Um, and then Pittsburgh catching two and a half points against Atlanta. This line I've also seen as low as one and a half. So um, this is going to be more of a total pick for me. I'd probably go under for that game rather than picking the spread or just take one of these teams to win outright. Kirk Cousins should be great week one, but Pittsburgh's defense is absolutely no joke and wouldn't be surprised if they came out with a bang despite me liking them to go under their win total so that's a look at the week one lines who i think is going to win the division and some of the win totals that are in the afc north but this is going to be an absolute gauntlet of a season for all these teams so excited to tune in and hopefully you guys liked this episode of the ekd show if you did just like rate subscribe i don't know give me any type of engagement we need it guys okay so see you guys back here soon